All right, well, we're all up with the vanilla. I even got it between my eyeballs there so I can make sure I can rub it all over my forehead. Cause, oh man, I can't believe I just went for a swim. I'm gonna start off today with a ridiculously big wrap lock for this creek. Who knows, it's gonna, it's a floater though. That's the one thing I like about it because there's gonna be a lot of grass in this lower section and I kinda wanna stay above it as much as I can. Maybe pop into it a little bit with a bigger rappel on. Who knows, maybe something will come out maybe to make it worth my while to catch something really nice and big out of here. So there is a possibility that could happen because this stream is known for, for, for bigger fish and this is getting near that time of year where they start moving around. So a little bit more water's cooling down. The air temperature is cooling down. Look at it down that way. It's beautiful. Isn't that fantastic? The way that run comes around right there. I and mean, I could probably almost drop my rapala over here off this edge and toss it right around this little spot right here and probably catch a fish. I wonder if it's worth it. All right, well, we're all up with the vanilla. I even got it between my eyeballs there so I can. Make sure I can rub it all over my forehead. Just... Oh man, I can't believe I just went for a swim. No way. Oh man, are you kidding me? All right, well, that was absolutely stupid. Good thing I have a belt on because my pants are dry. The rest of me soaked. Well, here you go. There's a show in itself right there. God dang it. Well, my rod's all wet. Hopefully. Hopefully this guy's all covered with grass, so it doesn't really matter with this guy anyways. I turned around, caught my foot on a rock right here. There's this big rock right here in the creek. And when I caught my foot on it, I couldn't stop the momentum of the water pushing me, because it's up to your knee right there. <sighs> it swung me around like a, geez, like one of those uh, samurai guys. No, more like a ninja. When a ninja's kicking somebody down, kicks them in the... That's basically what that rock did to me. So, I am soaking wet right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know. This guy's been recording. Yeah, of course he has. So yeah, turned around and the rock caught the tip of my toe. I couldn't turn it. The current there is up to my knees, so it belted me in. So this whole side of my body over here is kind of dry. This side over here is all kind of, well, drenched. But I have a belt on. That's one thing I tell everybody every time you go out and do this stuff. Make sure you got a safety belt on, no matter what. I mean, even if it just looks stupid, just put it on, because this spot could have been 10 feet deep, and I fell in there. And right now, I'd be drowning in there right now, because there'd be nothing to save me, because uh, I'd be trying to get the waders off. And, you know, the belt keeps the water out, so it's a good thing to have. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going. What the heck? I'm soaked, but whatever. I guess it's a good intro. See you shortly. All right, we just went for a smaller, we went for a silver with chartreuse and just that little single, I think that's a number six blade, but, or a single, I think that's a number six. I'm pretty sure it's a six. We're gonna toss it in here and just see if it'll bring some attention more than that rappel it did for say. But stuff like this usually gets a lot more, ooh, something happened, unless that's just weeds, which it very well could have been. It's worth coming back and doing some fly fishing and practicing. That's why I need to fly fish and practice really bad, so. Fish on, boys and girls, fish on. I'm talking and I catch me a peanut. I think that's what it is. Doesn't feel very big. Goes, whoa, maybe he is bigger. No, he's he's a small dude. But hey, what the heck? I got a brown trout, the first fish of the day. Welcome, Mr. Brown Trout, to the, come visit me. Well, he's a little dude, but hey. It's a fish, it's something I guess. It's better catching a fish, first fish of the day after a fall, you know, which I'm starting to dry out a little bit from. All right, let's get down here in the water for you there, Mr. Mr. Brown Trout. I got the, all kinds of, all right, hold on, Skipper. You're out of trouble. You got a single hook in your mouth right here. That's all I got, he's just a little dude. But hey, look at the size of that spinner he went after. He just, he had to have that thing. That was like the most important thing in the entire world for him to have. There's the release, sweet, bye-bye, dude. See you later, have a good day. He swam right into the grass over there.
One hour later. Yeah, this thing here was brought down a lot. I kind of swear they didn't have this much fencing going across here. I suppose now they had to kind of do what they had to do because there was a lot of... Alright, well, this is the end of the adventure in this area. I'm going to try to go up ahead and maybe get in again farther up, but at this point, this is looking not good. From what I can see here too, there's a whole bunch of grass built up in the middle of the stream all the way through there. So I'm thinking it's just like this stream grass stuff through here all the way through. That's what it looks like. Big piles out there, there. Yeah, but it's still coming down through there. We got a horse over here coming up to visit us. Look at them all, aren't they beautiful? All right, I'm gonna start off with this uh, number five blade with some beads. It's pretty light. Number six hook on there. Right here, this spot that I'm gonna try out for last here. There used to be a tree right here. Or it was in here somewhere and a beaver had chewed halfway through it over halfway through it and it was just tear totter in there for for months and every time i walked through there i kept saying geez i don't know if this thing's gonna fall never did but you know you still gotta think like that there's another one like that on the other side of the stream that's kind of dead too that you're thinking about and over here so i don't know i'm gonna get down the hill here and i'm gonna try to walk this out and uh just a small little section it's almost time to be done for the night. I might as well get in one of these little areas and have some fun before, yeah, there's no more fun to be had. It's a cool little path here, so that's good. Fits me all the way down here nicely. Whee! All right, perfect. There's the, there's the spot. <clears throat> Let's get up in here and have some fun. Play around just a little bit longer. I just, I don't want to go home yet. That's why, I, otherwise I just go home and head out to the stream tomorrow, but I just don't feel like going home yet. Fish on, boys and girls, fish on. As soon as it hit the water. Look at the size of this guy. This is probably like fish of the night right here. Check it out. All right, good thing we came to this spot. As soon as it hit the water, this guy plastered it. All right. Is this camera turned on? Hopefully it is. It is, and it's recording. Look at this guy, dudes. All right. He wanted that lure. Single hook. All right, we'll get him off the hook here. Get him off quickly. All right, check it out. Brownie, boo! Came off right in front of me. There he goes. Quick catch and release. See you later, dude. Thanks for visiting. One minute, 37 seconds later. Fish on again, check out this guy. All right, we got another one. They're liking that big spinner. That's a number five blade on there too. I can't believe this little peanut hit it. All right, well, we'll lower them down here. I don't need the net for this. I'll probably get them free. My hands are wet anyways here. Right next to the water. All right, all I had to do is come to a new place and try something different. That's all it's about. Every time you go out trying something new and Doing something different. There you go. Look at the size of that little bitty guy. He's a shark. He's a monster. Wee! Say hello to the people. They're right up there looking at you. Hopefully, hopefully the camera's pointing the right direction. All right. I guess some of you guys out there going, "What the heck was that spinner, anyways?" So all it was was some beads that were left over on my desk, and I took it, put them all together, and then I just put it like a number five blade on there. It's really light. It really doesn't weigh much at all. I don't know. I'd say close to a quarter ounce. But it's it's huge presentation, but really light. Because in here right now, it's really grassy, and it's you got to stay above it. Otherwise, you're just going to catch a whole bunch of grass, and maybe a fish if you get lucky. Five minutes later. Fish on, boys and girls. Fish on. I didn't think I'd catch anything in here. I was actually, I'm actually shocked I got this guy right now. Is this camera turned on? Sure hope so. Check out that dude. Holy Toledo. I didn't think I was going to catch any fish anymore tonight. I thought my night was over with. Wow. That's a, that's a beautiful fish right there. Wowzy. And he went on that. He, he, took, he totally loved that thing too. 
that's awesome that's, that's a cool spinner i didn't know if that was going to work or not and i guess it did where's the hemo was at he's got that single hook in there pretty good and i can pop it out pretty fast okay chucklehead just give me a second i'll have you free and swimming back with the fishes he's legal size too i could probably keep this guy but we're not going to oh calm down scooter all right there we go i don't know you guys probably won't be able to see it there you go look at how dark this guy is he's dark and lit right up he's getting ready for for spawn he's got his little he's even got a little hook on there on the front of him right there check that out i don't know if you guys can see it a little tiny hook on him but yeah we'll get him back in the water all right dude have fun all right there he goes back into the pool right there all right that was fun Huh. I thought for sure down this log there would have been something, but or there was, and it just didn't care because of, you know, it just doesn't care. There's fish there rising, but I ain't saying they're gonna rise for me. They're right there, jumped right out of the water. We're gonna get up here and give it a shot, and then if all sails, we're gonna hit the bank and then Get the heck out of here. Oh wow, that thing hit the, it was surfacing right there for something right there. So we basically have no choice but to cast from here. Our waste, we're gonna ruin the hole otherwise. Fish on, boys and girls, fish on. I got one. Oh, is he gonna throw it? Sure trying to. Oh, did he? It looks like he threw it. All right, well, that was the, probably the last fish of the night. You saw it right here. Wee hee.